Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see if we can get the um, the micro Q emulation from uh, DSP five six three zero zero working. So this is uh, essentially, uh, as they claim on their website, it is a one to one reproduction of uh, well, we're going to do the world of micro uh, the world of micro Q or the Q, I guess. But uh, well, no, the micro Q. But there's other th synths available here, namely the virus uh, line, so A, B, C, and T, I. And the premise here is that they t took the actual DSP itself, so the, the DSP chip from Motorola, this 56300 chip, this thing itself is ported um, and run in an emulator. And then you take the actual ROM, the actual like code of the actual synth and, and run it. So essentially, that's not even exactly an emulation. Like the synth is the synth. The emulation is the DSP chip itself. So I was a bit skeptical at first and let's see how this whole thing works because it's a little bit um, complex to set it up. I'll show you the whole thing. So first of all, we're on the website. Let's go directly to the to the downloads. So here we have the, the VAV. So there's two. There's the, the virus and, and the Waldorf. We're, we're doing the Waldorf. So we're going to the uh, VAVRA page. There's a bunch of information here. For now, we skipped the information, but um, let's go ahead and take the audio unit. So we download it, and we see that there is simply just a component. Oh, well, I have some permissions I need in order to. Give me a sec. Okay, so I'm taking the component. I copy it to my components folder on Mac. Right on, so it's there. Um, now the plugins are not signed, so you need to kind of uh, run this line. Let's see. So I'm gonna run a terminal, <coughs> and this tells it to unquarantine the component. So now it will be able to load. Simple as that, just run the line. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, the thing itself set up. But that is the emulator. We don't have the actual um, files for the synth itself. So what we need to do is we need to find somehow a way to have the the yeah the actual ROM from the Waldorf MicroQ. Luckily, this is actually available on the Waldorf website. I did some reading around. Uh, wait. So how do I how did I find it? Um, MicroQ. Rom. There we go. So we go directly to Waldorf's website after reading on some forums. The micro Q series, and we're going to take the system and we're going to take the sounds. So we have two zips now um, sounds, and we have the system. I actually had it from before, but I wanted to show you the whole process. So I'm going to go into the system. I'm going to take the latest one, which is um, this. And then what you need is the MIDI file. This is actually, um, that's, that's the system. And you need to place it next to wherever you put the plugin. So uh, we, we took the component. So in our case, it goes into the component library. Um, I'm going to quickly run my password here. And now, as you can see, I have really nothing on this machine, but I have this Vavra component and I have this, um, yeah, now I have the MIDI file. So now let's see um, if we did everything correctly. At this point, everything should already work. So I'm going to launch Logic. Um, yeah, no, no. Now it's doing some scanning. Um, whoa. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's see, because I'm barely using this computer, but let's see. Yeah, so it didn't block, it blocked something else. All right, that's cool with us. So we load, and ta-da! So it's a little bit big. You can do a GUI scale. All right, now we have the synth. It literally works. Um, and if we go now into patches, that's the last thing I wanted to show. So you have no patches here, but we did download them, right? So you go to data sources, you right click here, add folder, 
and you give it the folder. Uh, where did I put it? So sounds. Ah, sorry. Wait. So first you have to extract all of this. So last step. So we go to sounds, and you have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's do only one of them. So we, you go as deep as you need into the zip, and you will find another MIDI file. So here is, for example, micro Q factory set. So I'm going to move it to downloads. And now if I add, well, I can add the folder. I can add just that one file. Let's just add that one file for the example. So it's this one. And you see now we have a bunch of presets and they're all tagged. And they're actually the real factory presets. Like remember, we downloaded this from the Waldorf website. So we did nothing wrong. <laughs> everything is legal and everything is actually real. And yeah, it's the real thing. Amazing. Have fun. See you later.